Smoke, dust, and ashes blanket what were once homes here in Mariposa County, California, after the fast-moving oak fire consumed the area. The oak fire exploded after it began on Friday, overwhelming the initial deployment of firefighters as extremely hot and dry weather fueled its galloping pace through dry forest and underbrush. But in a hopeful sign, firefighters said on Monday they'd begun to contain the blaze that just a day earlier they said had outflanked them. Rick Carhart is a spokesperson for CAL FIRE. We had a really good day today. Uh, we got a lot of work done. Um, this morning, uh, we reported 10% containment on the fire. Uh, tonight, we're reporting 16% containment. So, you know, it's not a huge number, but it's a pretty big percentage jump. Uh, if you look at it that way, uh, we're making some really good progress on this fire. Some of that success may be luck. Officials said the absence of other major fires in the region enabled Cal Fire to concentrate 2,500 firefighters on the blaze, and the lack of wind allowed for the continuous use of aircraft to drop water and fire retardant. Another bit of good news, the northward direction of the fire meant it was no longer pushing in the direction of Yosemite National Park, some 10 miles away. At this point, the fire does not appear to be an imminent threat to Yosemite. Uh, sure, it's in the area, and sure, you know, at least one of the main roads into Yosemite is closed and inaccessible right now. But uh, we don't believe that the fire is going to get into Yosemite. Uh, we believe we're going to be able to keep it out of there, and we don't think the conditions are such that that's going to be something that's going to come to fruition in the future. We, we think that we're going to be able to get control of this and stop it well short of getting to that area. A grove of Yosemite's giant, ancient sequoia trees did come under threat from another wildfire weeks ago. The cause of the Oak Fire remains under investigation.